Hello friends, I'm your Tracy's Total Wellness Girl with Wellness Wednesday. And today I wanted to offer you one of my favorite self-care rituals. It is wonderful for us to have the art of mini ritual really honed into our minds and our days and our schedules so we can constantly feel like we're pivoting when challenges occur and we're finding our grounding. Now I wanted to talk today about sacred screaming. Yes, you heard me right sacred screaming. So it's self-care sacred screaming day. What I mean by this is so often we don't want to be too loud or too out there or let things go in a way that other people might see it and judgment could arise or we're disrupting in any way. But when those emotions are not able to be expressed in the way they need, they stay stuck. Some of it might come out, others might stay in. Now, my background in learning some acting techniques, I learned all about how to really express the emotion that's coming out, as well as starting to do this deeply therapeutic grief and trauma recovery work with women in my retreats and even with clients on my massage table. When that emotion can be expressed in the way it really wants to, true, true change can occur. Now, so often people are worried about the level of volume that could occur in this. Now, you know me, a lot of you out there, my clients have coined me Dalai Lama meets the Lucille Ball. So we're going a little Lucy today with the benefits of the Dalai. Sacred screaming can allow you to get it all out. Now, there are specific places, or as a lot of you know, I talk about holding containers. So a space, a container you feel safe in to practice sacred screaming. The shower is a fantastic place using the benefit of water. Also, if we're looking at water going underwater, so in a pool is a really phenomenal place or a lake, going underwater and screaming under the water, releasing all of that energy. Good old fashioned pillow. It's been around for ages and it's still there to support us. I quite frankly love my car. Um, I sacred scream in my car a lot. Uh, it helps me to clear the energy. Um, I do keep amethyst wrapped around my rear view mirror. That helps to just protect my energy and it helps me feel like my space is being cleared with the sacred screaming. So you want to first find the place for you to sacred scream and then know where your places are. And when emotions arise, if you have the ability right away to go and do it, and please go and do it. If you're in a specific circumstance where it's not possible yet, say thank you emotion for bringing this to my attention. When I get home, I commit to releasing this and expressing this. Our emotions will listen to us when we hold integrity with them and honor our word. So making sure you have certain spaces. That's why I have a few and sometimes I'm sacred screaming in the shower. Sometimes I'm um, in the car. Sometimes if I get so frustrated, maybe somebody sent me a text or I get irritated and I'm um, on my couch or I'm in my bed, I can scream right into that pillow. I find things to get the emotion out and it really, oh, it can be extremely therapeutic. I cannot wait to hear about your experiences with sacred screaming and how it can help you to release. This is Tracy with your Wellness Wednesday and sacred screaming. Be well.